As you know, more than 300 nominations for our outstanding general and flag officers are now being held up in the United States Senate. That includes our top uniform leaders and our next chief of naval operations. Because of this blanket hole starting today, for the first time in the history of the Department of Defense, three of our military services are operating without Senate-confirmed leaders. This is unprecedented, it is unnecessary, and it is unsafe. And this sweeping hold is undermining America's military readiness. It's hindering our ability to retain our very best officers. And it is upending the lives of far too many American military families. Our troops deserve better. Our military families deserve better. And our allies and partners deserve better. And our national security deserves better. So let me say again that smooth and swift transitions of confirmed leadership are central to the defense of the United States and to the full strength of the most lethal fighting force in history. And it's time for the Senate to confirm all of our superbly qualified military nominees, including the 33rd Chief of Naval Operations. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.